you're you're seeing what the Pac-12 is going through right now. What do you think of it, Martin? Uh, when you see this, I have a lot of thoughts about that. What I don't you, know if we have you, enough time. Well, but. what are you what are you willing to share with well, us here? I just think that um, you know, first and foremost, you never want to see. Um, people in a challenge situation like like some of my colleagues are mm-hmm. now. You know, it's been a great conference, and, you know, um, that's unfortunate. And at the same time, college athletics is changing so much, and I think that's part of that change. And when you see consolidation, mm-hmm. you see some of the things that are trending. Um, you know, it's just unfortunate that I think that over a number of years um, has led us to this point. Right. And so wh- why did – Based on what you're seeing, other schools have now followed suit. Obviously, mm-hmm. your UCLA and USC made the move last summer, and you've been kind enough to come on the show after that just to relive it, seeing what's happening right now. Why did UCLA make the move that it made to the Big Ten? Yeah, it's about where college athletics is going. You know, you want to be in a conference uh, that has significant reach. Mm-hmm. You want to be in a conference that has resources, and you want to put your student athletes in positions to be successful. And to do that, you've got to, you've got to, you know, you've got to be with other big brands that are doing great things. And that's what the Big Ten is. And so from my standpoint, you know, UCLA is all about championships and the student athlete experience. We have the second most national championships in the country, 121, Mm -hmm. which, by the way, we won two last year. And uh, and congratulations. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate that. And. Um, And so when you come to UCLA, you come to get a high level of athletic competition and the number one public institution in the country, academic. So you want to be in that environment where you want to compete against the best, play against the best. And oh, by the way, um, your brand and your platform and the national level of exposure that you get from a conference like the Big Ten is significant. We're in the NIL world also, which is great. But all of those factors... Uh, contributed to us saying, look, how can we best position our athletic program to be one of strength? And you see, as you've seen in the past year, a lot of people are looking at their program and looking at the future and saying, hey, where do we want to be? What makes sense? And a lot of people want to be with the Big Ten. And there's a reason for that, because that conference has great institutions, high academic, high athletic. And um, from a demand standpoint, people want to see good on good. They want to see great competition, and that's what consumers want, and that's why you're seeing what you're seeing. So uh, I've got Martin Jarman, the UCLA athletic director here in studio. So, again, what you're willing to share and have a conversation here in front of everybody, um, what, what, what wound up being the vote of no confidence ultimately in the Pac-12? So this think? past year, we haven't – I haven't been in the room. You have no. Ever. You've been out. I mean, I've but, been out but, ever since we. But obviously, if UCLA and USC had not made the move that it made last year, do you think the Pac-12 would be in the current state that it's in right now? I don't know. That's that's a tough one because I'm not in the room when decisions are made. I think I think in leadership roles, you know, you don't you don't know the shoes that people walk in. You mm-hmm. don't know what kind of decisions or, or what the process is. Yes. So it's just stuff that we read, and you can't believe everything you read or hear. What I do know is um, I think over a course of years, there are moments where you can make strategic decisions, mm-hmm. and you can go this way, you can go that way, and you've got to get more of them right than wrong. And I think in, in the pac 12s situation, there were some market things that occurred, but also some decisions that could have been made um, that just didn't go – their, their way prior you know? to your tenure and arriving on campus yeah, I, at think I think it's a number of years right um it, it, something just doesn't happen overnight right but but um and some things are out of your control too let me say that um you know you just you just don't know but the one thing i do know in leadership roles you got to be in tune with two things you got to be in tune with the people you serve mm-hmm. how are people feeling about things where are you at and then you also got to be in tune with the marketplace you know what's going on in the market where is it going and um, and and that's those are two significant things that any leader um, has to do. And I think that you know this it's just been a challenging environment for for the conference. All right, one more on the past, and then I want to talk about you know what happens from here. Best everyone's kind of figuring this yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right. So the fact that it it it's possible because it sure looks like the Pac twelve, ten, eight, whatever you want to call it from its history mm-hmm. is dissolving it's or it's devolving right now or it's changing 
is changing. Okay. Could be evolving, or or it could know. be or it could be disappearing. Good. And so, and 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 when you take a look at the records from the history of this conference, oh, yeah. yeah, it's your school that kind of leads, with all due respect to USC and basketball mm -hmm. from UCLA basketball. I mean, Jackie Robinson, for crying out loud, mm -hmm. went to UCLA. Arthur Ashe. We could keep going on, yeah, right? We could. Like we, we could. could. <laughs> what happens? to these records? I mean, has there been some sort of conversation? I, obviously, they're always going to be UCLA's, but you can't talk about them in terms of Big Ten records, right? Like, what what happens? Yeah, you know, we always will keep that and cherish that at UCLA. Right. I mean, obviously, from a conference perspective, though, that I don't know. You know, that's one of those. I've never seen this. You know, you're we're seeing this live happen, right? Right. Um, and we haven't been, UCLA haven't been in the conversations or meetings with the Pac-12, so so I don't know I don't know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. What I do know is you you can't take what has been accomplished away, and we've had great Bruins that have done significant things not only in the college athletic space but go on in the world, and that doesn't change just because of a conference shifts or changes its membership. That's always a part of the college athletics and part of UCLA or whatever school that you're representing. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.